Yo, what is going on guys? So in this video, I'm gonna be going over two budgetary headsets for the PlayStation 5. They're affordable, but still come with amazing sound and comfort. And they both come with the option to customize your EQ presets. So you have the option to tweak that sound so you could hear those footsteps and other audio cues in different games. So these are the two headsets we're gonna compare. First, we have the Pulse Elite. Now this is the predecessor to the older generation. They had the 3D Pulse. And many of you guys might have used this headset. It came out during the same time the PS5 dropped and it's a little bit old. So I think it was time for an upgrade. And we have the Artex Nova 5P wireless headset. Now this recently just came out from SteelSeries. I actually made a video on this uh, headset if you wanna check out all the specs. But in this video, we're gonna compare this headset to this headset. They're about the same price range and I'm gonna go over all the different features and try to let you guys know which ones you guys should choose. And make sure you guys stay to the end because there's a lot of things to go over. I just don't want you to miss. And if you haven't yet, please subscribe and hit that like button. So here I'll do a quick unboxing and just show you what you get with this headset. So here you get your USB toggle to hook it up to your PlayStation 5. You're also going to get this charging uh, little hanger here so you could hang this anywhere in, uh, on the wall. On the headset you would connect it to right there and you would hang it like this somehow and once they're hanged it would charge. And obviously you would have to take a USB-C cord and run it through here. And you would also get a USB-C cable to charge the headset in the box with the Elite Plus. And this is the headset. This is the Elite Plus. You might have seen these. These, these been out for about three or four months now since making this video. And I gotta say, when I first got this, I thought something was wrong with them. They're not like any other headset I've ever tried on for gaming or just music. You see these cups, they're very loose and they just wobble, you know? They look kind of like alien-like. I was just weirded out. They're just like, whoosh! But they do have a nice little slick design here, as you can see. But that all changed once I put these on. By design, once you put them on, the cups, they kind of like seal in your ear, which I like because I don't like the noise bleeding out when you're playing. But uh, you see how the cups, they just suck in. So I think the rotation here is for different head sizes. So if you have a different head size, you could still have that suction in the cups. You will not have any issues playing long games with this headset. Compared to the previous version, the 3D Pulse, the issue I had with these, they did not stay on my head as much. Even now that I put these on and I'm talking, it's not the sound is not suppressed. And after a while, they would just kind of feel weird and it would irritate my ear. So with these, once I put this on, I could hear the sound isolation right away like similar to noise cancellation. So yeah, this is a great upgrade compared to the uh, older version, but uh, we're not comparing uh, this headset to these. We are comparing it to the SteelSeries Nova 5P. So, so as far as comfortability, these headsets, I would rank probably around eight out of 10. Uh, it could be better, but you know, you probably have to spin around 300 $350 for the 10 out of 10 comfort level. So as you can see the cups here, they're gonna kind of move around, but that's okay because once they're on your head, they feel nice and steady. Now these cups right here, they're really nice. I got to say, they feel very comfortable. You see how soft they are and they hold a lot of the sound in. It's one of my favorite things about this headset is the cups and the comfort. Once you put them on, how it isolates the sound and you cannot really hear anything outside 
the headset if there's a TV playing or air conditioning most likely you will, you will not hear this with this headset on I didn't have too much issues with the battery on these they have a impressive 10 minute charge that will give you two hour battery life with the USB-C port which you would plug in right here and with a full charge these will last up to 30 hours of gameplay this headset doesn't get any simpler to use once you plug this into the PlayStation all you have to do is just hold this power button right here and once you hold it it lights up it's going to activate right away and you can start playing and it's going to be connected to the headset you also have this detachable mic that extends like this and it's pretty nice because you could adjust it to your mouth or move it a little bit backwards or you could even play with it like that it won't pick up that much sound but you could still play with it what i didn't like about the 3d pulse are all these different controls here it was just so complicated even after about playing with two years i would still have to take off the headset to figure out what button is which now with these ones it's much simpler as it should be all you have is just the power button right here the phone jack you would plug in and you have your volume which is right here and that's it that's basically all you need so you could just turn the volume with these two knobs right here turn it on and off and pull up the mic the more simple the better and it does support dual connectivity bluetooth and playstation link at the same time so you could take your calls through your bluetooth while you have your headset hooked up through the ps link now for the price range of $150, you know, it's, it's luxury affordable. It's not like premium, but still you would get a very nice sound quality with this headset. We're still going to review the mic and we're also going to show you the EQ presets and the different types of presets that you could set on this headset just to maximize the sound quality just a little bit. Now one of the coolest things I want to point out with this headset is the AI noise cancellation. And what that is, is basically it cancels out the background noise, especially if you're, you know, you have those players, your teammates that are eating potato chips or making some kind of weird noises with their mouth. Now these should cancel that out. So we're gonna go ahead and put that to the test right now. So I'm gonna demonstrate to you guys how to get these into Bluetooth mode. It is a little bit complicated because to do the test, I'm gonna hook it up to my phone, so I need the Bluetooth. So what you're gonna do is first, you're gonna turn it on, just push it once. Once it's on, it starts blinking slowly blue, then it's pulsing blue. So what you wanna do again is you just wanna hold it until it starts blinking blue really, really quick. It turns off for a second turns back on okay see it's blinking fast blue so now it's in pairing mode and I'm just gonna go ahead and pair it here to my phone and then we could do that test for the chips so now that we're connected to the headset now we could retract this here like this put the mic around here take our chips here and do the same sound experiment now my favorite part we're gonna eat some chips and see how it sounds It doesn't seem like it's picking up any noise when I'm eating the chips. That's crazy. Check it out. And for the last feature, I just want to show you how to quickly customize your EQ presets in the PlayStation 5. So to do that, you just want to turn on your headset, make sure it's connected to your PlayStation 5, and head over to the settings. Once you're here at the settings, you want to scroll over to the sound icon, which is right here. You want to click on that, and you see your output device is Pulse Elite. You just want to go here to the EQ preset. So you could go here and you could set on the different type of uh, presets that's already here like bass boost what i like to do is i like to create my own so i would name this uh to warzone 3. for warzone i would adjust the settings to this settings to here 
uh, the footsteps a little bit better. So it's a great feature you have and you could tweak here something like this and you know give it a shot and if you push that square button you could actually hear how that changes the sound so if you don't like something you could always adjust it now for the steel series version we have the arctis nova 5p wireless now this is the playstation version you also have the 5x which is for xbox so whatever platform you choose you could use now since i have the playstation 5 obviously i'm going to go over this headset now what's surprising it's only 129 dollars for this wireless headset and you could also use eq presets with this it is a little bit different than the Sony as it's not in the OS and the PlayStation itself but I'll go over it in just a little bit we're also going to do a mic test here as you can see they claim that it comes with a stealth mic now let's get this opened up see what you get with it let's talk about the different features and compare both and decide which one's best for you all right so let's see what we're going to get in this box here as was still serious the packaging is always prestige on point here in this little box what we're going to get are just our cables our charging cable here usb-c and then we also have this cable here this will extend the connection to the transmitter for your playstation 5 if you need it the packaging is pretty simple you just get some wires here you get your transmitter dongle here. This is the headset you're gonna get for your $129. You have your detachable mic here. And you have your charging port right here. Now this is the power button. This is to switch your connectivity. So you have a few buttons on this side. And then on this side, you have your mute button and your volume. So that's it, it's pretty simple, not too complicated. Cuffs, fabric. You know, it's not the most premium headset, obviously, because you're not paying that much money. But for the $129, I think it does the job done. We're gonna do a uh, fitting right now and see how they feel. Okay, comfort level. Really nice. I mean, with Steel Series, if you guys haven't used any Steel Series, I suggest you try them out. Uh, unmatched, honestly. Very nice, snug, feel so good on your ears, very comfortable. No issue with uh, playing for a long time, I don't think, at all. I mean, they, they're so snug. I mean, top notch, uh, eight, 8.5 out of 10, definitely, as far as comfort. You get 60 hours battery life. That's insanity. Uh, you could play for days and days without charging it, I guess. And also for the 15 minutes charge, you get six hours. So the battery on this is probably 10 out of 10 with no doubt. Now, the most important thing to talk about when it comes to this headset is the EQ preset. And the EQ preset is basically compatible with an app with your phone. So you're gonna download this app and you're gonna have all the different presets that you could set. It's gonna have up to 100 games that's already preset. So if you're playing God of War, you will choose God of War and the best audios for God of War are gonna be locked into the headset. If you're playing uh, Warzone and you want the footsteps, there's a cue for footsteps. So you would lock that in and you would have the best audio for the footsteps. So because PlayStation is proprietary software, something with uh, like with a Sony uh, Elite Plus, it's compatible with Sony because Sony makes those headsets so therefore they could integrate it into their software with this headset this is a third party there's no way for any EQ presets to go into your PlayStation therefore it's controlled via the app okay so first thing we want to do is we want to turn on our headset here and once it's on we want to go to our phone once it's on we want to open the app it's going to connect to your headset and once it's connected here, so right now we're connected through Bluetooth. I didn't hook it up through the USB-C, but that's okay. So here the preset, simple as that. You could also control your mic sound on this app, your side tone, this is how you hear yourself talk, control the LED lights, but most importantly, you wanna control the presets. And basically these are all the games that are um, assigned here for different presets. 
I mean, there's over 100 games. And as you upgrade the app, you will get more games added on through any updates. So FPS Footsteps is right here. You could pick it. Uh, if you're not satisfied with that, you could go to Warzone or Modern Warfare 3. And once you click on that, the presets are adjusted into the headset right away. Okay, so this is what the mic will sound on your Steel Series. You see, you put it here. If you have your mic not extracted, it's going to sound like that. Usually, I always put it about right here. Okay, and now let's do our microphone chip test. So here we go. This is the bag. So this is any background noise you will have. This is how it's going to sound. And now let's eat some chips and see how it sounds. I'm not sure how it's going to sound. I have to, you know, run the video to test it. But looking from the sound wave, it seems like this mic is picking up a little bit more sound of the chips than the other one. But we're going to do a side-by-side -side comparison in the video, and we'll see. I've been playing with this headset with the Elite Pulse back and forth now for the past few months. And I'm just like this, you know. These ones are great. That one's, those ones are also great. They're both comfortable. Great battery life. Great uh, mic cancellation. Noise cancellation. I mean, they're both great. But let's finish up this video. I'll give you guys my final thoughts and what I think. As for the price, the Pulse Elite are at $150. Compared to their Nartic Nova 5, which are $129. They're both compatible with PlayStation, PC, Mac, and where Bluetooth is available. And if you want to use it for the Xbox, you would have to get the 5X version. As for the battery life, the Pulse Elite will give you 30 hours on a full battery with a fast charge of 10 minutes for 2 hours. And the Arctic Nova 5P, 60 hours on a full battery with a fast charge of 15 minutes will give you 6 hours of gameplay. As for the weight, the Pulse are a little bit heavier at 340 grams and the Arctic Nova are at 242 grams. Both have amazing sound quality and comfort. The microphone, I would say, slightly better on the Pulse Elite. And if you're looking to purchase one of these, make sure you guys check out my affiliated Amazon link down below in the description. Overall, both are amazing headset for $150 that came out in 2024. If you're a little bit more price sensitive, I would go with the Steel Series. If you could afford $150, I think it's whatever you prefer. If you had the previous Sony headset and you really enjoy them, then go for the Elite Pulse. If you're a Steel Series fan, you love the comfort, all the bells and whistles on it. Plus Plus, if you play so many different games that the presets for the EQ are in the app, go with the Steel Series. But even if you go with either one of them, I don't think you will go wrong with either of these headsets because I think they're just great for the price point. I want to hear from you guys and let me know what you guys think. If you're currently using one of these, what are your thoughts? And if you aren't, let me know which one you will get. Thanks for watching and as always, I'll see you guys on the next one.